Okay, I'm going to try this print I was talking about. That last time I did it, it started trying to print about 10 millimeters above the bed. Now I haven't adjusted any settings, and this is like the cog gears. Just show you for the feeding mechanisms. There it is in the front of face. And this has been repaired under net fabs where it is. So it says, well, I think that's made it worse if you ask me. Now I'm going to cut a lot of this out because there's an awful lot of time of homing and levelling the bed. And then I'll come back when we're getting somewhere near the start of the actual print. So as you see, it's doing the leveling fine. I'll skip some of most of this out of it to the next one. Oh, I'm expecting this to be about 10 millimeters above the bed. That's what I did last time I tried to print out this. So it's just about to start, well, it's moving in ready to actually start printing. And now it's fine. Now I have to watch that. This is all going to be on the blue paint this tape. Let me have a close look at that. Looks okay. So it's doing like a sketch and it'll do a brim. Gonna ask, I'm asking for a raft as well. I don't know what's happened here because last time I went to print out this exact same model, no changes. It, uh, the nozzle was about 10 millimeters or so above the bed, just printing in the air. Black PLA. First layer, I think it's 220 and all the rest are about 200. 0.2 mil, whatever it is, and uh, the first layer is 175 like, percent of that. Blue paint is tape, lightly sanded and cleaned off of isopropyl alcohol. Basically I'm going to leave this, I'll speed this up, and then I'll come back when it's about finished or finished, because I'll probably, I'm just going to leave it, I'm going to walk off and leave it, actually dreaded thing to do. It's been a few minutes. Um, I'm not sure about the timer on the display actually. It's got 10 on there. That is 10 seconds I think. But that hours and minutes. I'll just show you that display actually. That's in zero, zero, ten, eleven. So I presume that's minutes there, and then it's hours the other side. You can't. This is only a guidance. It's very rough, so as I understand it. So what I'm going to do is actually speed this up just now. Maybe watch it a little bit. Still doing. I think it's maybe still doing the rough actually. I'm 
back to normal speed just to show you you can probably hopefully you can see the pattern there emerging on the surface for the holes in the cog wheels this is for the feed mechanism and we'll probably have to try and figure out some better way of getting lighting on this Got a lot of shadows there, as you see. I've got quite a few powerful lights on this. Let me move the angle a bit. let you watch this a few moments then I'm going to put it back on its put the camera back on its sort of faster speed but it's actually only taking a shot every five seconds it does so we're getting a shadow around there it's going to form a big light over that way but I also have a light on this side so why isn't this balancing out that I don't know really. It's looking quite well at the moment. Say I've got skate and raft and rim and all sorts on this. And let's have a look at the auto leveling. So there's the auto leveling. That's the Z going up there and as you see as the bed moves forward and back it's adjusting the level of the nozzle some people call it tramming it's really not actually level in the bed you are adjusting the height of the nozzle to allow the differences in the height of the bed right I think that's going quite well Famous last words I say. I'll change this to the faster speed now. Back to normal speed for a couple of minutes. Excuse me. I'll move this light about that thing, depending where the main part of the head is. Seems to be doing quite well, so as we see. Steppers are pretty warm to say the least, quite hotish, not burning hot and pretty hot. I think I'll have to turn down the like ramps voltage amps or whatever it is just a bit to see if it sort of prints up okay. On the display it's saying 49, where are we? 
So we've got our fork there, 50 now. So the sun that's minutes, yeah, and that other one must be hours. 35%. My understanding when I've done other prints is that can be way out by a graph down there. Not really showing anything. This is coming from the computer by the way. It's not coming from the SD card. going to be a bit hard to tell if this is distorted or not because it is a heaven bone on the edges so that will be at a slight angle anyway the teeth on these cogs and it might look distorted when it is not actually distorted at all got a bit of stringiness I can see that I estimate this is about halfway through sorry I can't give you the time yeah, I think it, I think point of face might actually say. I can't remember now if it was that or not. Oh, I can't see see anything on point of face. Have a quick look. I think it does say. Probably a worse position, but I'll give you a different angle on it, so to speak. Now this light I've got here is quite hot. Especially this. We've got two lights that are about the same. I've got one light here, LED, on this big heat sink, and one light here. The both supposed to be the same sort of LED basically, but this one's quite hot, this one. Uh, if you're wondering what I'm making, it's, sorry you can't see, can you? It's these, well, two new cogs for here, a small one, a pinion one, and a bigger one, heaven bone tap teeth. Supposed to be better and quieter and get more grip, but you not, might notice there's a tooth actually partly broken up there. It works all right, well, reasonably. Right, I'm going back to this sort of fast forward on the video just now. Well, I left it running, and you should never leave a 3D print running, should you? And what? It's just frozen. It's stopped. I don't know what's happening. Because I can't see. Print ended, it's saying. But why isn't the head gone up? The head's supposed to move up after the print. It took one hour twenty-four, one and a half hours we might as well say. It's saying on front of face. 
I hope that nozzle isn't stuck there down there where it is. So he's front of face, I can hear a stepper. It's making a I think it's one of these. Making a whistling noise. So I'm gonna move the head up manually if I can. Saying it's finished. I wasn't here to watch it, yes, the, the nozzle can move up. Sorry about that, I should have been showing you. Sorry, 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 sorry. Right, let's move it up even more. Oh, well, we've got that bit of ooze there. I don't know if you can see it there. It's probably the heat of the light I can feel, but the bed, the bed feels like lukewarm there. I don't know because I have my light very close, one of my lights, which is, this is one of my light units here. Very hot this light. Normally these, these LEDs don't throw heat forward. And this one, this one's another one, same, but it's not so hot. So let's have a, a look at that model before I try and remove it. I can't see any lifting. It's black plastic in a way, because I think it is harder to tell when you've got black plastic what's going on. Seems quite a bit warm around here. This bed certainly seems warm. It's saying 31 on the display, but I haven't had the heat bed turned on most of us I know. Okay, let me see how easy it is to get off that plate. Right, let's see how easy it is to get off. It's, it's on there pretty tight. I'm trying to prise it off. It is creaking a little bit. I do sort of have a wallpaper scraper whatever cheap one but have to be careful about putting your fingers in front of such things nope. uh, that one's coming off the small smaller cog wheel okay. so it's quite a lot of stringy stuff on here. Using a board and tube. ED3 version 6. Well it's the best hot end I've had. Quite bad here. Hopefully you can see that. I can't really see in the display all that well. stuff like this it's knocking your bed and you know <laughs> no, well on my other pins I could just use my fingernail and get under this edge of this like skirt or raft 
doesn't seem to be the case here. Oh, there we go. So it wasn't too bad, I don't think. Just took a quite a bit of pry in there. Try to just a second, let me move around so I can see in the viewfinder. So you can see the heron born there. So it's got quite quite a bit of stringiness on the edge and especially here and here. I do have a tool for doing this and this is not centered this like angles here. It's almost to one side, I can see it. And obviously we've got the raft and that down there. So just want to see if we can get any teeth at all on this to fit with all this stringiness. There's not much space. It seems so almost like it wants to go out of line in a way, like up and down because that angle is high because that was on lower side of the bed I think was it no, that way up and the other angle is sort of low in a way the, the line there because it's not central and that means that when those teeth are meshing I think it's going to one side there's a definite curve on this sure how well you can see but it seems to be definitely curving like round on the bottom there yeah strong enough and you can see the like the raft impression but then if you don't have the raft impression you're going to have the blue paint, painter's tape impression I'm not sure how well it would like adhere to the bed without that blue painter's tape on this is just aluminium sheet I think it'd be terrible when I tried it before just a quick print it wouldn't have it wouldn't adhere at all but maybe I didn't have the this is the worst one Pretty bad that's really. Okay, but let me see how if I can now. Mm, it's, there is a it does look like it's marked that that's probably me I've marked this blue painters tape there with a like scraper I think. want to put my ha hand in front but you have to be careful if you slip with even one of these it's going to go through your hand so try and keep your hands and fingers behind the blade no, I'll, have to, I'll have to struggle on with that I'll come back later and tell you how I've managed if at all I might have to take this blue paint this tape off and that would be one way of getting this off Well, I've just about given up trying to scrape that off there. 
So this is one way of getting it off. Obviously you're losing your blue painters tape doing this. So this is an aluminium sheet. It seems to certainly stick harder there where it's been leaving. See the texture of this. We can. So this is the raft. That's my understanding. Okay. I'm going to give these a closer inspection because I haven't really had a close inspection yet. The stringiness there where it was almost like joining on to this one is pretty bad. So it'd probably be better to print these two separately or bigger gap between them. Drop that on the floor. But that is a very Sorry, but that is the worry that that is not dead centre of this. The mid, if you take halfway between the two lines, that like V shape of the herringbone gears should be more central, I think. Position for up there, that's come out. Looks reasonably well. Looks round. It looks round. It doesn't look like it's misshapen. On that direction, so far as I can tell, thickness seems quite easy, uh, stable all the way around. No heated bed, and as I say, it seems to be definite like almost curvature there, just on the edge a little bit. It's not going straight down, it's curving on that side. A little bit on this side as well, I think. But probably not quite so bad. Anyway, all in all, not too bad, I suppose. As you see, I've turned it off because I wanted the motors to get cool. Now, it says that, oh, I've just noticed it says thermal runaway down there. On the display. So here, thermal runaway. Why? As I said, there was quite a lot of warmth around here. Like need the bill plate. I don't know what's the LEDs. Normally the LEDs don't. They do throw a little bit of warmth forward. Where am I? So I've got this. I mean, boy, I have to be very close. I have to be about that close to feel any warmth really coming off that LED from the front. From the back, they get a lot of heat coming out the back. That's why you need a big heat sink like this on them. Okay, let's finish off there. Start waffling on. Look at the stringiness. Trying to sort out this in balance, I think. Let's see what's what. That is really... Hang on, just a second. Oh, I mean, it might be a tiny bit of flex. It is PLA, so... Those are, you know, compared with some of my other prints you might see earlier where the layers were actually coming apart. Huh. Yeah. 